What is going on guys? Thank you for joining me. We're back again. Another episode from Zero to Hero. Now you join us, we just about to play Preston at home. And um, we are having a shocking time. And do you know what? I will hold my hands up and say, if this was not a journeyman, I would have quit this save a long time ago. I'm actually enjoying it because the journeyman feel of it. But um, hey, if we continue like this, guys, we're going to be going now fifth club in this over, just over a year. Um... The schedule since you were with us. So you were with us for Dagnum and Redbridge at home. And that's right. Since then, we've lost all four games. Um, can we get a victory live on air today? Um, God, I hope so. Because as you see, Preston are actually joined with us in 22nd and 23rd place. So let's see if we can pull out a little gap to them. But we're just going to look see at the squad. See who's performed the best in the team. So let's just see, players just come back from injury and he will be going straight into our first team. It is Danny Mackin is topping it with 14 goals in 23. Assists-wise, 6 assists from Kerber. And then after that, it is Rob Green, our right-back, who again is another player who has just come back from injury. So we'll be going straight back into the team also. Which is nice that a couple of players are back for today's game. Key passes with only 30 in 21 games is Russell Curry. Interceptions made 182 from Greg Halford. Average win, best player in the squad currently on rating is Christopher Jacobs. Um, now you will see that um, Dickinson who's replaced him at left back has played 7 on average. Um, highest wage earn is Dickinson also and the most valuable player is our young Belgium, who again, like a couple of the people in this squad, has just come back from injury and will be going straight back into the squad. So this is actually great news for us that a few players have come back from injuries for today's game, who we've been missing recently. Um, and definitely has not helped our form, but it is great to see these guys back in the squad. Um, we're still going with the narrow formation. Now, some of you might ask why I'm still playing with it, but... There's not really many more options at the minute, guys. And um, we have took over a club which is in massive issues. Um, have I struggled since um, I come to England? I think that's pretty clear, guys, don't you? I mean, since we got to Chester, we struggled. Luton, we struggled. Portville, we're now struggling. Um, was I ready to come to England? Should I have stayed at Eggerson? Let me know below. 212 games as a manager, we've won 87, drew 44, lost 81. You'll see our stats, I've shown you a fair few times now the starting stats, so you know what they're like. Um, our stats have actually dropped a little bit, I think, just due to how poor we are playing. So hopefully we can start to improve this. Um, I am not enjoying my time in England, and I am considering at the end of the season, or before that, leaving. Um, now, I know I've said I wanted to build some at Portville. Um, after the poor run of Sognadal and Chester, Luton, now Portville, um, I did want to stay around at Portville and see what we can achieve, but I almost just want to run away and hide. Um, and let me know, guys, please comment below. If this was your save, would you have quit? Would you have walked away from a club? Would you have started at the bottom in a different country? Because that's what I'm considering doing. I'm considering jumping ship to a nation like Finland or back to Norway. Um, I did just skip the end of the last match because we were playing so poor. Um, would you guys jump to a, the bottom league in Norway, in Finland again, and base, not start again, but just kind of rebuild my reputation because my reputation has been totally destroyed by the recent poor form. But then um, let's get this game. Let's see if we can obviously beat Preston here, which would be a vital victory. Um, a defeat could put us in serious, serious trouble and the possibility of staying relegation from League 2 in, our, in the face. But yeah, I'm interested to see what, what would you guys do in this situation. Because we all know, I mean, I'd say the last 10 episodes, we've just not had good luck at all. We've not had good form. We've not we've had poor performances. Um, and I think we all have them situations in Football Manager. But here, it is all documented. So you guys get to see the tough time I'm having. Instead of me just um, firing up a different save getting off to a good start and having success. Um, you're getting to watch me and myself as a manager in the game trying to battle through these tough times and um, definitely not being able to settle at any club at the minute. And as you see now, another injury. So 
switch there and get that guy in the advanced playmaker role. Yep, come on, let's see if we can um see if we can get a victory here. Um, oh, you are having my life. That ball just drifted over all of our players, and he was just there to took it away. We're one 0 down, guys. Have to and look at the stats, by the way. We've dominated so far. Um, I'll tell you, if there's ever a save where you wish you'd never left a club. Um, I still to this day regret leaving Eggerson, but it's a decision as a manager, no doubt, let's be honest, people can no doubt list in the comments below managers who have left clubs in real life, who wish they'd never left, um, who they've gone on to other clubs and just completely flopped, or they've had a couple of bad years. I mean, I've had a couple of bad seasons where I think I definitely made the wrong choices. I shouldn't have gone to Luton, I don't think. Um I should I have gone to Sognadal in the first place? I think yes, because the chance to manage in the top flight, the top flight of the Norwegian League, was something I had to grab with two hands. Um, obviously, it didn't work. Um, I need to sit back, I think, guys, and totally evaluate my management on this save. I mean, if people are watching my Twitch series at the minute, um, I've just had a very good first season with um, Inverness. Um, and I was doing an off-air save where I won six back-to-back -back promotions as well. So that was just something which I've been doing personally. I've not documented or told anyone about it. It's just something I've been doing just to kind of keep myself keep myself enjoying football manager just on a personal level as well as um, recording everything, if that makes sense. But this is my pride and joy. And this is a save I want to keep running. And... Um, I don't... 1-1, one, one, beautiful. I don't dislike um, having a bad run because I kind of looked at that in a few years' time. I'm hoping I'm going to be looking back at this run and and laughing about it, saying, God, can you remember when we were in the low leagues getting sacked every six months um, and now we're winning top flights or something? I'd just love to be able to do that. Um, but basically, I've talked for this whole match and not actually commented at all on it. So do apologise, people. Um, see if we can get ourselves back in. Um, see if we can get ourselves a, a victory. Oh, I thought we were going to concede there. As I'm possibly trying to attack, we end up conceding. That would be just dandy. Free kick. Oh, they just put over. Come on. Coming up to the end, I think. Yeah, something like a 1 1 draw against other relegation threatened Preston. You're not good enough tonight, I think it's the best way. But at least we've ended the. Um, Poor run of defeats. Did we didn't end it with a victory? Um, but just let me know in the comments, guys. This is definitely a comment episode where I'd love to know what people are thinking and what people's opinions are at the minute. And um, what should I do? Because at the currently, England is not the nation for me. I'm just struggling to to just settle and actually do anything at the minute. So. Hmm, see when we're going to come back. Because we're in a massive relegation battle, I'm actually thinking about coming back early and doing the Plymouth at home. Um, it's only a couple of games off air, but there's a lot going to be happening in the next few weeks, I think, because of the situation we're in. So I want to thank you for watching, guys. As I said, please leave comments below um, and let's um, get this series a lot more interactive. I love people who are watching. I really appreciate people who take the time out to watch it. Watch my battle through low leagues at the minute and I will see you next time for the next episode from Zero to Hero.